This third sign Jesus performed in Jerusalem, and it was the Sabbath on that day. Now, the Pharisees were saying to him whom Jesus had healed, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. That man, he said to me, Take off your pallet and walk. So I did. <laughs> and look at me. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> Living. <laughs> Not for 38 years have I walked free. Look, look, limbs strong. I, I say to my knees, bend. They may bend. <laughs> I, I say to my body, stand tall. And I stand, and my spirit soars to heaven. <laughs> and it is good. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, but somehow it's exhausting. I say to my body, lie down. Oh, and I lie down, and it is good. <laughs> who is that man? The one who said to you, take up your pallet and walk. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you must know him. We watched as he climbed the balconies looking for you. We stood behind a sketcher's stall and saw the whole thing. Who is this man? I don't know. He was there, and then he was. Look, I say to my knees, bend, and they bend. <laughs> I say to my body, stand up, <laughs> and I stand. <laughs> Tell us this man's name. You surely know him. I know him only as the man who healed me on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, when it is not permissible to carry a burden. I carried a burden for 35 years, a burden of lameness, of infirm flesh. You should have arrested me then. This pallet is light. Here, you take it. I say to my body, run! And then run! <laughs> <laughs> and it was for this reason that Jesus was persecuted, that he did all these things on the Sabbath day. Now Jesus was going to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, and a great multitude followed him. And Jesus went up onto a mountain with his disciples, and he looked down on the multitude, and he had pity on them, for he saw that they were hungry. And he told his disciples to feed.